Norman Cook is the superstar DJ, musician and producer better known by his stage name, Fatboy Slim. Erupting around the world with his mega hit album, You've Come a Long Way Baby, in 1998, it featured the singles Right Here, Right Now, The Rockefeller Skank and Praise You. These days, Cook plays some of the biggest and best parties in the world, including the Olympic closing ceremony and more than 15 Glastonbury festivals in a row. And while he personally might have calmed his partying ways, his bangers are as banging as ever. Sure are. Uh, would you please welcome Fat Boy Slim, amazing Norman Cook. Good evening. Hello, it's so lovely to see you. You're in town for the Electric Gardens Festival. I need to know, do different countries party in different ways? Oh, absolutely, yeah. All Everybody right, how has do we a, do it? You, <laughs> you do it uh, noisier and with... Uh, you're not shy, no. Australian audiences. You do it with uh, a wild abandon rarely found elsewhere in the world. Oh, wonderful. And I've always heard from bands that Japanese fans are really polite. Do they party politely as well? Japanese fans do what they're told. <laughs> if, you, if, if you're like a polite band, then they'll be polite. If you tell them to go crazy, then they they go crazy. Oh, yeah, they they they're very yeah they do what they're told. But uh, Aussie crowds do what they want to do. But that happens luckily to be exactly what I want to do. One of the factors that you use to decide whether or not you're going to play in a certain place is the food. So I imagine you would have a very well worked out food plan for Australia. Uh, it's already been implemented, yeah. There is five criteria of doing gigs. It's either whether it's going to be fun, uh, a favour for a friend, a first that I've never done before, mm. food or finance. So if it ticks three <laughs> of the five, then, oh. then you're in. Oh, there's three of the five. I'm Australia in. gets four out of five. The only one I can't do is it's not my first time here. You played a gig at Banksy's Dismal Land, which is like his yes. art installation park. What was that like? That was probably my favourite gig of, of last year. Very surreal environment to be playing in because nobody knew I was going to be playing until I started DJing and I was actually DJing on the bar. So when I first started I was actually serving drinks whilst playing records and people would look at me going, you don't have to look like Fatboy Slim and I'll have two pints of lager. <laughs> um, also, quite, also quite surreal because I, I knew Banksy was there in disguise but, ah. and I got to play Let It Go as well which I've never played in my DJ sets before. All right. Awesome. It was great. Uh, well, your film clip to praise you uh, was voted by MTV as the greatest film clip of all time. Michael Jackson's Thriller came in at number two. How does that feel to have what is regarded by many as the greatest film clip of all time? It's a great honour. Uh, it was kind of ironic because MTV actually flatly refused to play it because when, it when we first showed it to them because they said it looked shoddy. It was great fun to make a, a, a deliberately ridiculous video and get away with it. You've been sober for a long time now. You're a family man. How yep. do you keep doing sets in the middle of the night and how is partying when you're straight? Ah, uh, you remember more of it. Yep. Um, <laughs> I, I, I take it far more seriously nowadays. I think, no, I mean, I see it now as, as, as a job to entertain people rather than actually being one of the ones who is being entertained. It's quite important for me to distinguish between Norman Cook, who is a responsible husband and father of two, and Fatboy Slim, who's an irresponsible party animal, <laughs> and to keep the two separate and know where one ends and the other one begins. When I'm in character, when I've got the Hawaiian shirt on and my shoes off, then I'm, <laughs> I've got the mental age of about 15. But when I'm at home, when I'm doing the school run, I'm the dad. <laughs> but the coolest dad in the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, we were talking today in the office and all of the team agreed that you changed the face of dance music. Who do you think is sort of the new Fatboy Slim, so to speak? I don't know. Well, I mean, uh, the, you know, it's kind of EDM. I think I suppose Calvin Harris would be my equivalent. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of him. I mean, obviously, he's slightly better, younger and better looking than me, but I do see a lot of him in... <laughs> he's like the, the, the son I would have loved to have had. Yeah. I'll go along with that. I'm sure he would he, be stoked to hear yeah, that yeah, you but said he that. Yeah, so wrapped. <laughs> yeah. Except that, how does your actual son feel? Yeah. <laughs> it's, I, th it's, I think it's technically possible if you do the maths. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Fatboy Slim is playing the Electric Gardens Festival, then he's heading to Brisbane and Melbourne to find out where you can see him live. Head to the links page on our website. In the meantime, please thank Fatboy Slim, Mr Norman Cook. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah.